Johnny Diaz and Stand For You, 93.7 WDJC. Before that, Royal Taylor. Royal Taylor has something in common with our friends today because Royal Taylor, I think, was the last band we had in studio. Shane and Shane with us today. We are here. How you guys doing? We're doing good. I, okay. I mean, you didn't know you were going to be on, you know, TV, and it's not really TV, but it's the internet all over the world. <laughs> but we thought we'd just throw that out today. Let's and, do it. Yeah. And, you know, face, record, man, Facebook, I, Twitter, whatever it is. I got on my fancy hat today. So you do. If you want to see we that, the fun guy. you got to go online to check this hat. Fun guy <laughs> outfit right there. You dress, dress for the occasion. I dressed for the occasion today. And I appreciate that. That means a lot. <laughs> now, you guys have a new uh, project, and, and you just signed on, I guess, Fair Trade. Is that the Fair Trade Services? The previously yeah. known as I know. Yes. Records now Fair Trade Services. Yeah. So yeah. we're pumped about that. Great guys. Great and I'm team. sure you guys have been writing continuously. So have you written for this new project as well? Yes. We have. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> and had to narrow it down. <laughs> <laughs> we have. It's been awesome. Yeah, I've, writing uh, has been going on for the last couple of years, and. Um, and it's been it's been more enjoyable than ever, you know. I I, I feel like music's still kind of a new thing. It happened sort of later than most in our lives, you know. At the end of college, we were both business majors, and you know, he was a, Shane Everett was a farm and ranch management major, and and I, we had just no idea music was going to hit, and it did. And so, I <laughs> I love to write, and and it's been it's been awesome, awesome, um, and it's been an awesome chance to just write about Jesus in the season because he's been sort of. Um, the focal point to our season. So, and the Word of God has been very focal. Apparently, you draw a lot of uh, inspiration from the Word. We do. That's that's all we got. <laughs> that's, that's about. The that's all point. we need. Isn't it? <laughs> that's yeah, about that's it. <laughs> well, I've uh, tried to stall long enough. Have you uh, <clears throat> warmed up? You feel like the vocal cords are ready? Warmed up. Yeah. We probably should say a little bit about this because it's just going to be a chorus. Okay. So if you're, that's okay. Can we just yeah, do a yeah, chorus? Yeah, a sneak peek. A sneak peek at a chorus. Okay. So a year ago, my little girl Lucy was about to be born, and I wrote this sappy sort of a country song from a father to a daughter, and um, and that has morphed into what is now our radio song about um, Shane and I kind of have been rewriting it sort of to our daughters um, and and what we want for them in life. Um, and there's pretty much just a couple things we want for them in life, and that, and, and you'll probably hear what it is in the chorus of the song. But um, All right. and and Shane uh, Everett, Everett yep. has two daughters, right? Two daughters, okay. Olive and, and Lillian, yeah. And Shane and Bethany, and Shane Bernard, who was just speaking, you wrote uh, the song, I guess. Did you uh, you write most of the songs? Yeah, well, he and, helped, Shane helped too. Okay. Yeah, on this one. And you're married to Bethany Dillon, uh -huh. who we know as an artist for a long time. Yep. But y'all have one daughter. And so, go for it. Cut loose. All right. The studio's <laughs> yours. <laughs> me, me, me. Okay. I wish that I could be your everything. Be the one to give you all the things you need. Sometimes I'm going to let you down. But there's someone if you just believe. He'll be your hero like he's always been for me. Darling, Jesus is the one you need. Oh, yeah. Studio audience. <laughs> Woo! Woo! All right. Wow. Pressure on. We have a, a couple of lovely ladies in the studio. Yes, we do. Uh, Justin Brown is in today. And, of course, the webmaster himself, Mark Harvard. Appreciate you getting that on the, yeah. on the web as well. <laughs> Shane and Shane, now what's the title of the song? The One You Need. The One You Need. The One You Need. Yeah. And that is uh, a cool story behind that, too, as I recall. You have, it seemed like, oh, okay, The One You Need. Am I confusing that with The One Word? With One Word. Yes, I saw a cool a story. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. One Word. Okay. With is in, in, in The One. So are, all the songs are, are close. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, it probably relates to the same yeah. person. Yeah. That song that you're thinking of actually didn't even make the record, but we, we did it. And, um, we Thank loved you. it. Had its moment. It actually made our churches 
record. We did a worship record with our church, and, yeah. and we put it on that. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I try my best to find the most obscure yeah. songs to talk about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> or on a new record label, and they were like, no. No, <laughs> no I don't no, think so. Fantastic. Man, the music is great. We'll talk a little bit more in just a moment. Catch up with Shane and Shane today on the Ronnie Bruce Show, 93.7 WDJC.